Hello, today we're going to take a look at Palantir. This is one of the darlings of the COVID experience. People loved this stock back in 2020. As you can see here on the weekly chart, this thing elevated up from $10 all the way up to looks like a high of nearly 50 bucks. It hit $45, then traded sideways for the rest of 2021 until ultimately hitting what was its final kind of sideways motion in November of 2021 and then essentially being a waterfall down. It looks like it's potentially bottomed here around 650 or so. Um, and we've seen a move off of that all the way back up to $8, which has been incredibly useful if you've been long. Uh, we can see here that it looks like we've had a lot of sideways action. We've had some very odd behavior in these stocks. I'd say that these are so overowned by retail and by meme traders to a certain extent, and probably by some institutions, honestly, uh, where you're going to get really odd like gaps and then fade, gaps and then fade. And then you even see today, this is a humongous candle. Uh, that's the type of move that really would freak me out generally, um, unless I had a long-term exposure to it or some idea. Looking at the daily sentiment indicator here, we can see that we're already at 58% bullishness in Palantir. Now, one thing about this indicator is that it generally gets uh, stuck at around 60. Um, just like right here, it got up to 60.8, then you saw, saw it promptly come down. It can't go above 60 very much, and it really can't go below 40. So when you look at this indicator, the market wants to be in balance and bullish and bearish sentiment in a price. Um, so what you'd expect here is most likely to see a reduction in the price and probably some bullish sentiment to resume. We can see here on the weekly, we are all the way up at, it looks like, where is this actual week? It just fills in data because it continues on creating what it believes is the future. Um, it looks like we are at 51% bullishness based on the end of March, 2023. That's actually not a terrible place to be. The market is actually perfectly in line almost um, on the weekly. So you could see any outcome here. We're gonna look at the volume. It looks like volume hasn't really had any major explosions. I mean, it looks like the 17th of February was a little bit of one recently, but nothing as big as what we saw in 2021. Look at the daily volume. Actually, it looks like this day in it's Valentine's Day, February uh, 14th was a very popular day for the stock to be traded. I wonder what happened. Look at the volatility to price correlation. Uh, it looks like we have volatility that has essentially hit its bottom here. It went near to a near to zero. It went to 0.249 for the volatility. Uh, it is going to explode higher now because it, this is zero bounded, so it can't go lower than zero. Uh, it looks like it's going to go up to 8.6. It could go much higher. Obviously, recently we've seen it all the way up at 4.1 uh, for the volatility. That was around that time where we had a lot of volume in the middle of February. So if what we'd expect is that volatility is going to continue to fly higher and correlation is going to go negative, that's generally going to be negative for the stock. It should fall. Uh, we see that we've had a, generally a tr falling volatility here, and it looks like we have a negative correlation. Uh, we don't really know the direction that the correlation is going to go right now. It could just stay negative. It could start to round up like we've seen. If the volatility starts to go higher and the correlation starts to rise, that would actually be positive long term. So we'll need to wait and watch and see what happens. Uh, it looks like the non-sentiment trade range here for Palantir has gotten pretty narrow, and that is really an indication of falling volatility. As the volatility falls, uh, the range gets more and more narrow. You can see how large the volatility range was here in terms of the non-sentiment trade range for Palantir. It is kind of high, so you might want to watch that. We can see that the range is very small right now, again, because, again, volatility got very low, so the range got tight very quickly. Uh, we could expect Palantir to go all the way down to 741 or all the way up to 876. If I was going to buy, I would wait to got I'd wait to get down probably at least under eight dollars. But I don't really have a position here, and not really an interest in taking any position in the stock. But I know a lot of people are trading it, so I do wish you the best. Hopefully, this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. I make these videos every single day for the most active stocks in the U.S. stock market. Have a great day.